Hi, this is Steve Spence with ArduinoTronics.blogspot.com. Today we're demonstrating the Baofeng GT3 dual band ham radio. Transmits and receives on 70 centimeter and 2 meter and has a number of other features built in as well. Let's get to it and show you what it can do. When you open the box, you'll find the Baofeng GT3 dual band radio, a lithium ion rechargeable battery, an earbud with mic, a belt clip, a wrist strap, a removable antenna, a charger base and a wall plug, and a multi-language manual. Some kits also include a CD and a programming cable. Before you program your radio to talk to a repeater, you'll need four pieces of information. You'll need your receive frequency, which is the repeater output. You'll need to know the CTCS frequency, which is your tone, the memory channel that you want to save this information into, and the transmit frequency, which is the repeater input. In this step, we're going to show how to program the Baofeng GT3 to talk to a repeater. So I'm going to turn on my radio. Frequency mode. And I wanted to verify I was in frequency mode. If I was in channel mode, I would have had to press the VFO button. Channel mode. Frequency mode. To make sure I was in frequency mode. I want to make sure that I'm on the top line, so I hit the AB button until I'm on the top line with the up arrow. And then I'm going to enter the frequency that my repeater transmits that I want to receive on my handheld. In this case, it's 146805. 146805. And I hit menu. Menu. And I'm going to go to 13. CTCSS. I hit menu again, and the CT tone is 854. And I hit menu again, Confirm. and then I hit exit. Now I'm going to hit menu 27 to set the channel number. So I go menu, menu. 27, menu, memory channel, and it's going to be channel 1, so 001, and menu. Receiving memory. So that has set my receive frequency. Now I need to set my transmit frequency, which is what my repeater receives on. And I'm going to enter that as 146.205, because it's a negative offset. We don't put in what the offset is, we just put the actual frequency. One, four, six, two, zero, five. And hit menu. Menu. And it wants we now need to go to menu 27 and menu again. Memory channel. And it's 001. Menu. Transmitting memory. And then I hit exit. And now I want to go to VFO to make sure I'm in channel mode. Channel mode. Hit my AB button to go to the lower line. And then I'm going to hit my up and down arrows to go to channel 1. In this case, I'm going to go up. Zero, one. And now I'm on channel 1. And if I key up, I should hit hear my repeater respond. And I did get a good solid connection to my repeater. So that's how you program to talk to a repeater. And I'll be posting the step-by-step -step instructions in a text document on my website. Direct radio-to-radio -radio communications, or simplex, allows you to talk to somebody else without having to go through a repeater. This works for short-range communications, depending on the um, terrain and buildings and materials around you. All you need to do is press the VFO until you hear frequency mode, and then enter the frequency that you want to talk on. So in this step, we're going to be demonstrating how to use the radio in simplex mode. This is not using a repeater. This is going point to point from one radio to another. And a friend of mine is out there on his Bofang UV5R, and I've got my Bofang GT3. 
KK4, KK4 HFJ. Full signal strength, buddy. You're sounding good. And Roger that. You are too. I'm a little ways down away from the house right now, so we're, I mean, we're not a quarter mile apart at this moment right here, but it's good signal, I think. That's excellent to hear. Thank you very much. This is KK4HFJ out. KG4LQZ So that's how the demonstration of the radio using simplex mode where you're just talking from one radio to another, not using a repeater. We just punched in the frequency that we wanted to talk on without programming to a channel or anything.